Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert Sims 4 earrings to the Sims 2. I'm going to mainly show earrings because like that's mainly what I do, but it's really the same process for glasses as well. So um, my downloads folder is huge. So you're going to want to launch Sims 4 Studio, the latest one, and just click whatever you've installed. I don't even know what these say, but I'm just going to hope for the best. Um, Okay, I don't want them ones. <laughs> nope, I don't want them. I want the lightning bolt one. Because I actually tried to record this before, but um, when I got into Body Shop, it crashed. And it was I did it wrong. I did the whole process wrong. So I'm doing it again now. <laughs> okay, so... Um, it's handy to keep a projects folder on your desktop. See, I have a bunch here that I have in progress. But, um, what are these areas called? They're called just Neon Lightning. Okay, and then save it as a dot .blend file mesh. You will need Blender version something. It's an old version, I know, but I don't know what number. Okay, well, if you have Sinsor Studio, it will prompt you to download what version. Okay, so, then you're going to open. Navigate to your project folder, and get the mesh, yep there we go. Okay, I hate the camera in Blender. Okay, so click the orange triangle and that should select your object. Go to file, export, dot object, selection, smooth groups, right, normals. I don't know why Blender is really laggy. <laughs> Just call it mesh, then export. Now I'm going to close Blender now because I actually hate it with a passion. Okay, and my computer decided to flicker. Okay, and then you want to get your texture as well. Can't forget that. And then we can we go to Photoshop first because we need to crop the texture because it's huge. And then I'm just going to do that. Crop it. And then I'm gonna go. In, then I'm gonna go into image, image size, pixels. I usually do. No wait. I usually do canvas size. I have twelve. There we go. I could make it smaller if I want, but I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm just gonna keep it at five twelve for now. Now, in the link, there's a link in the description to a download link. I am really bad at talking, but um, it includes all these bases I've included because, so, uh, not so running for, Hermit Fox made a tutorial for accessory converting and like there's this part where you have to invert some vertices or whatever and it kind of was time consuming on my first time and I kept messing up so I've included it already done. So. I'm just going to quickly go in and basically the rim and lens group should be tiny little dots and you need them, you can't delete them, I don't know why, but do you have to do a tutorial and then just figure out you actually also don't know what the fuck you're doing? Okay, um, and then you go, let me redo this, I'm skipping ahead, file, import, object, and then you go to the earrings or whatever and it should be called default I'm going to rename it to frame quickly you have to name it frame put it in between rim and lens and then um, for comments I usually just copy from here obviously to make some small changes like making the frame group I think it's five is it five I'm gonna have to check Okay, I'm opening up Simpy to get another mesh because I need to show you. It's been a while since I've done this, but okay, let me just do this. Do everything but the opacity for now. I'm going to quickly assign this to the head bone. So how to do that is you double click frame, go to joints, press head, draw vertices here. And if it goes pink, then the bones are assigned. Okay, and now I'm going to quickly go up here. Did I save my texture? There we go. Okay, so make sure it's red. That means you double select it and 
if these two dots are selected, just double click them, the lines in the room group to unselect them because we don't want any texture on them. Okay, so now go to project folder, get your texture, double click. Excuse me. Okay, so apparently they're not selected. There we go. Now it go. It looks a bit odd, obviously, and that's because we cropped the texture. So the UV map's kind of gone all over the place. But to fix that, it's usually better with hair. But I'm gonna try and do this by hand. I think. Okay, so I'm just going to see if it works for this. Oh, I think it does. Move. There we go. And yeah, my usual coordinates for scaling the UV to the correct size is just usually 1.0 and 2, and then it'll stretch a bit. And then I do 2 and 2, and then I move it, and it usually fits. There we go. Oh, God, these are really pretty. Nice. Okay. Um,. I don't know why they don't want to show here. Maybe it's because the ordering of my groups are wrong. There we go. Front, uh, face should be at the top. And then move it so um, you know it covers there. But they're not quite touching, so we have to go into scale x 0 0.99. And they should come a bit closer together. And um, we can check here in the 3D view. Okay, these are going to look so cool on Chloe Singles, just saying. Right, so basically this is done. Delete the face, uh, face group, export. It's a Unimesh exporter. And then just call it, I don't know, earrings. And then we're going to go into Body Shop. Now, I'm going to link in the description one of my own earrings I've done before. Just so you have don't have to edit the property sets. Because the property sets can get really confusing and prevent your mesh from showing up. I know that happened to me on first try and it really stressed me out, but I just want to make things easier for you. That's why I provided this base and everything. But Body Shop should load quick. <laughs> Go to Body Shop once it's launched, create new project. Go into the glasses category. And this is my base that I'm going to be working from because using a Maxis mesh is just awful and nothing works. So I'm just going to call this Neon Lightning. I can't spell. I'm not even going to bother giving it a tooltip because I can't be bothered. <laughs> but usually you'd put a tooltip so your files are easily recognisable. Okay, and it should be in your save sims folder now so we can quit Body Shop and go to New. Tools, PJSE, Body Mesh Tool, Extracting Stage, Browse, and then go to Save Sims, Neon Thingy. And loads of ages will come up now. If you're doing just adult female, you would get rid of these, save it as the adult female one. I'm only going to do it for adult female because I can't bother. <laughs> But basically what we just did there where we got rid of everything else for the other female, for separate ages you just do the same thing. And then once everything's linked at the end you can merge the mesh file. Um, so my SIMP usually errors on me when I change the integrity after doing that. So I'm just going to close it and then click it again. Tools, object tools, fix integrity. Now this will make your mesh unique from other meshes. So nothing conflicts. So just give it its own unique name. I'm just going to put my creator name and then press update so everything's changed and then everything will change. So here is your file name and you want to copy that because sometimes if the files don't line up it has a hard time collecting the joint hierarchy or whatever. But then right click the GMGC one, replace and then hit earrings. I think you exported as a Unimesh from uh, milk shape and then highlight this then paste the old name in commit and that's that
Now we're going to go and open up the recolor file in Save Sims and then go to uh, this. Now the best way I know how to find out what 3D ID referencing file belongs to which age group is the and gender as well because one means female and two means male so ignore anything that ends in two here. So that's 1001 and so is that one so that's going to be for adult female. Now there's three versions of adult female because you have young adult, adult and elder and they all share the same sort of name. So link it to the mesh which is wait that's the mesh oh my god and then 4001 that is also 4001 and simply is decided to load a bunch of stuff so i just have to sit here like an idiot and wait <laughs> okay there we go now tools pjsc body mesh tool linking stage okay and then there's this one here, 801. And then we're going to go import the texture. I should save this as a DDS. Um, that's not the right one. Import. Everything should be fine. Let me just check. Okay, for some reason, frame is on top here. So, like... And I've put it in the middle. I don't know if that affects anything. But we'll just see when I load it into Body Shot. Okay, so I'm going to save this as the recolor. Make sure you delete the um, old one here. Because it will conflict. Okay, I think that's all done. I think we're all done here. So now, delete the old one because it will conflict. Downloads. Go to your projects folder or wherever you saved your mesh and recolor. Leave it there. Um, launch Body Shop and we will hope for the best. Okay, so now Body Shop's loaded and you can see my screen recorder there because this is how horrible this video is. And there we go! We have a nice pair of earrings. Um, so I hope this was as informative as it could be. I am absolutely shit at talking. I haven't spoken to a real person in about a year because of Covid so, you know. But I hope this worked for you and I hope I made it very easy my goal here is just to make things a hundred times easier for people than it was for me when i was starting out so you know and if it doesn't show up then all i can suggest is relinking and also alongside this tutorial look at homemade fox's tutorial which i will link in the description